Good morning students and today we will be discussing exercise 11 in this video and starting off first question says a motor is traveled at a speed of 70 km per hour for at this speed how far could you travel in 7 hours so you have time equals to 7 hours so you need to find the distance okay so the formula for distance that i have already told you is distance equals to speed into time so 70 into 7 equals to 490 kilometers Find a time taken by a bus to travel to 80 kilometers at a speed of 80 km per hour. So children you have in question number 2. A bus which is traveling, which has traveled a distance of 280 kilometers at a speed of 80 km per hour. You need to find that time. So time equals to distance upon speed so 280 upon 80 okay 0 0 cancelled 4 2 is 8 4 7 is 28 this will be 7 upon 2 convert into mixed fraction 3 and a half hours this will be your answer okay children next question that you have express the following speeds in kilometer per hour so to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second what we were doing we were multiplying kilometer per hour speed by 5 upon 18 okay so i'll be discussing the question number three part two with you so you need to find express the following speeds in kilometer per hour and to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour what we were doing we are multiplying meter per second speed by 18 upon 5. So you have 20 meter per second into 18 upon 5. So 5 fours are 20, 18 fours are 72 kilometer per hour. One more question you have this third part. 270 meters in 12 seconds so children in this question the distance 270 meter has been traveled in 12 seconds so first find the speed so speed equals to distance upon time 270 upon 12 3 9 the 27 3 4 the 12 2 4 the 8 2 5 the 10 2 2 the 4 so 45 upon 2 meter per second into convert into kilometer per hour 45 upon 2 into 18 upon 5 okay so 5 9 the 45 2 9 the 18 so this will be 81 kilometer per hour okay now similarly you have question number 4 and you have in this one following speeds in meter per second so kilometer per hour to meter per second we have to convert so we will be multiplying this with 5 upon 18 okay so we have question number 4 first part 60 kilometer per hour to meter per second so what will we do 60 into 5 upon 18 simplify 660 six, 63 is 18 you will get 50 upon 3 convert into mixed fraction so 16 meter per second this will be your answer similarly you can do question number 4 second part and third part with this formula just by multiplying by 5 by 18 you will be able to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second okay children next question that we have is a car moves at a speed of 54 km per hour. Okay.
what is the speed of the car in meter per second simple 54 into 5 upon 18 6 3 za, 6 9 za, 3 3 za 9 so this will be 15 meter per second this is your answer children okay in question number six you have an athlete runs 200 meters in race in 24 seconds okay what is the speed first find the speed speed equals to distance upon time so 200 upon 24 so this will be 25 upon 3 meter per second and to convert into kilometer per hour 25.3 into 18 upon 5 5 5 sir 3 6 sir so this will be 30 kilometer per hour this is your answer children okay now next question that you have is Question number 8. Question number 7 you can do similarly. Yeah, the same way we have the question that we have done earlier. Question number 8. Says. The distance between two cities is 380 kilometers. A train takes 6 hours 40 minutes to cover the distance. Find the speed of the train. So you have distance. Equals to 380 kilometers. Time taken. 6 hours. 40 minutes so you need to convert this 40 minutes into hours so how will we do that 40 divided by 60 so 2 to the 4 2 to the 3 to the 6 2 upon 3 and now add 6 plus 2 upon 3 so this will be this will be 20 upon 3 hours and you need to find the speed of the train the so speed equals to distance upon time distance is 380 upon 20 upon 3 this 3 will go up this will is cancelled so 19 into 3 and you will get your answer as 57 kilometer per hour now question number 9 says a tourist bus left town a and traveled at an average speed of 85 km per hour to town B, which was 340 kilometers away. If it reached town B at 1.15 pm, what at what time did it start? Okay, so a bus, a tourist bus started at left from town A to B. The distance between the two towns is 340 kilometers okay and the speed of the bus is 85 kilometers per hour and the bus reached B at 1 15 p.m. so at what time did the bus start so what will you do first we will find the time of the journey time equals to distance upon speed so 340 upon 85 so this will be 5 6 are 30 5 8 are 40 5 in the 5 5 7 are 35 so this came out to be 68 upon 17 hours and what will you do you will sixty eight upon 17 17 fours are 68 so four hours so 115 the bus arrived so four hours before 115 will be your answer will be 9 15 a.m you should count four hours back so you will be having 9 15 then 10 15 11 15 12 15 
then 115 the difference between we have one hour so the bus started at 9 15 okay so next question a motor is traveled question number 10 a motor is traveled a distance of 150 km at a speed of 60 km per hour he left at 11 30 am and stopped for 45 minutes on the way at what time did he reach his destination okay so motor is traveled a distance of 150 kilometers at a speed of 60 km per hour the time of journey will be equals to 150 upon 60 this will be 3 upon 2 hours the so 3 upon 2 means one and a half hours now and he stopped for 45 minutes on the way so 45 upon 60 convert this in R so this is 3 upon 4 okay so we will add this time and this time so 3 upon 4 plus 3 upon 2 will be 9 upon 4 and this will be so this is 9 upon 4 fraction so you have 4 2 1 so now children pay attention your answer is 2 1 by 4 so that means 2 hours and 1 quarter of an hour that means how much time did it took how many how much time it's simple children uh, one other way you can do this is you can uh, so two hours will be at what time did he reach so he left at 11 30 a.m so 11 30 12 30 then 1 30 and quarter of an hour means 15 minutes so 145 at 145 he reached his destination his destination children this is 150 upon 60 so this will be this will be 5 upon 2 make this correction children so let me do the correction just a second okay so 5 upon 2 plus 3 upon 4 so this will be 10 so this will be 13 upon 4 and this will be 3 hours and 1 quarter of an hour so this will be so 11 15 he started so 12 15 One fifteen, then so one hour, two hour, two fifteen, three hours, and quarter of an hour plus fifteen minutes. So this will be he left at eleven thirty. Okay, so eleven thirty, twelve thirty. 130 230 plus 15 minutes so your answer will come out to be children 2 hours 45 minutes please go through the question again uh, some confusion was there okay so we will continue number 11 Sham and Ankur both choose cars to their offices. Sham covers a distance of 16 kilometers in 13, 30 minutes. And while Ankur covers 12 kilometers in 20 minutes. 
which of the two drives faster so children convert this in hours first 30 upon 60 so this will be half hour and convert this in hour also one third of an hour now find the speed distance upon time 16 upon 1 by 2 so this will be 32 kilometer per hour and this one 12 uh, small correction till the speed equals to distance upon time so yes it was correct 32 kilometer per hour and this one 12 upon 1 by 3 so this will be 36 kilometer per hour the children from this we can see Ankur drives faster than Sham question number 12 Lily drove from town X to town Y at an average speed of 78 km per hour. Okay. After 1 and 1 fifth of an hour, she completed 3 seventh of her journey. What is the distance between town X and town Y? Okay. Now children, Lily is traveling from town X to town Y at an average speed of 78 km per hour. Okay. And how much time for he, she was driving? After one and one fifth of an hour, she completed three seventh of her journey. What is the distance between town X and Y? What we already know is Lily has driven for at a, is driving at a speed of 78 km per hour for one and one fifth of an hour. Hmm? She completed three seventh of a journey. So first find the distance during this time. The distance equals to speed into time. So 78 into 7 upon 6 upon 5. And on solving this. 78 multiplied by 6 and dividing by 5 you will get 93.6 kilometers okay so let the distance between from town x and town y be a so now what will we do children here is the distance is this much so she has covered a distance of 3 by 7 so 3 by 7 a look this is the distance that she has already traveled equals to 93.6 kilometers and what is a the distance between town x and y so a will be equals to 93.6 into 7 divided by 3 so this will be 3 3 to the 9 3 1 to the 3 3 to the 6 and on multiplying you will get the answer as 218.4 kilometers so this is your answer for this question so children in this video we will be discussing till 12 question only and in the next video we will be discussing the questions 13 to 22 thank you class